One of the most common things I hear as a professor is students come to me saying, listen, I'm just feeling lost. I've just spent the past three, six months, even years, kind of going in circles, and I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. And what I say as a professor, having worked with hundreds of students in, in my time as a professor at Harvard, Oxford, and Cambridge, is the number one reason that you're feeling lost is surprisingly simple, clear, and obvious. You don't have a roadmap. Listen, if you want to get to uh, New York from Texas, where I happen to be from, right, you can't just jump on a highway and hope it works out. You're going to need signs and directions and a map to understand where the stops are along the way. So that, you know, if you're driving to New York, you end up in Kansas City, you're going to wait, hang on, wait a second, something went wrong. I need to change course. And this really bedevils students who are doing research for the first time and causes them to be terribly inefficient. But the solution is surprisingly clear. It's this scientific roadmap. And it's the first thing I do with all the students that I work with, taking an approach where we reverse engineer to formulate a plan to help them reach their goals. And you'd be amazed. In the students that I've worked with, I'm talking hundreds and thousands, none of them has ever done this road mapping exercise. And I think part of this happens because you get pulled into a program, maybe you're working in a lab where you're advancing the roadmap of your professor who already has a clear vision and you're fitting into their roadmap. But I don't want you to be part of somebody else's dream. I want you to take a little more control of your life, your future, and how research fits into that. And the way you're going to do this is almost by creating this master plan plan this roadmap for yourself. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that now. So let me put this in action with one student who I've worked with, Tal, and you can see his story in, in the link below. Um, and Tal came to me, he was really down and deflated. He, he said he wanted to be a full professor, but he really couldn't get off the ground for publishing papers. And he had three or four different papers on the go, but nothing was really working and he was just feeling lost and wasn't getting the support he needed. The thing is that although I have a great supervisor who was also a friend and everything was going okay, I felt like I'm stuck in a neutral gear. You know, nothing was going forward. I uh, I kind of lost faith in myself and my ability to publish. I told myself, you know, what the heck, um, let me contact Prof and uh, see maybe you could help me. And I said, okay, Tal, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a roadmap. So um, let me show you his roadmap so you can get a vision of how this might work for yourself. So I find a lot of my students are quite visual. And so I use this tool Miro. It's open access and it's free, but you could use any mapping tool to set this out for yourself. And so I said, tell kind of where do you want to be? And he said, well, you know, deflated. I want to be a full professor, but I don't think I can do it. I said, okay, okay. Well, I, we need to understand kind of your North Star. Where are you trying to go? And then we want to make sure all the steps that you're taking are pointing in the direction of that goal, your North Star. That's the direction we're going. We work over three month timelines to try to get papers out or the big projects done. That's because if you plan out a timeline of five years, you're going to just feel deflated and lost. It's too far away. It's not accessible. We need a project where you can see the finish line or at least a step of that project breaking into small parts. And so we realized that for him to get to being a professor, the most important thing for him to do was publish papers. And this was going to help him finish his PhD because he was doing a PhD by publication, where the publications counted towards that. Um, if you don't know what that is, check the link below. It's a, a very modern way of doing a PhD. I wish I would have done it. Um, and so he said publications, but he was stuck. So we then said, okay, publications are the most important thing right now that's going to get you to where you want to go. And we want to focus on getting a paper out over the next two, three months. Um, then we needed to map out what had been holding him back. And we importantly needed to optimize one. We needed to focus on one specific paper. Cut all the noise and all the distractions and focus on the one thing that's going to get you the farthest to where you need to go. And if you just get that one thing right, you could screw up everything else. But I will say for the vast majority, 95% of you, if you get that one thing right and have a maniacal focus on that, you're going to be okay. And so ultimately, we decided on publications to pick one. We said, you know what, we're going to start fresh because he had struggled before and we're going to do a new systematic review paper. And, and what we did then is we took the systematic review and we strategically anticipated, okay, it's like we decided we want to go to New York now. What are the things that could happen on the way? Uh, run out of food, water, need a bathroom break, those sorts of things. The same thing applied here. We said, okay, we need to focus on productivity. We need to focus on finding time blocks in, in your day. We need to uh, connect you to some academic writing training. Um, we need to map out the topic. And so here... Um, we decided, you know, when is the right time to take that bathroom break on the road? When are we going to inject writing into the process so that you're not doing the writing training now that you only use later, which makes you inefficient? And so once we developed this master plan, then it really became time to execute. And Tal came back to me at the end of this session. We, it didn't take us this long to do, actually. He said, man, I already feel so much better. Like, 
it, it's weird, but I already feel a sense that I know what I need to do. I've got a plan. I feel more a sense of control and where I'm going. Everything start, started rolling so quickly because it was all so organized and it made sense. And for the first time for me, I was able to connect the dot like that. So yeah. th that, that was awesome. And so many students I find are just that way. They need to be able to visualize what this is all about and how it all fits together. And your career is so important and yet so complicated with so many variables and moving parts that you need to have this kind of crystal clear clarity. Um, guys, if you want more examples of roadmap sessions and an actual roadmap sessions we've done and how they work and how you can do this for yourself, click the link below and I've got some full roadmap sessions. But this is the exercise that intellectually, you just need to take this moment, this pause, and invest this time in yourself to develop your own master roadmap, your own master plan, guarantee you're going to feel better in the end of the 10, 15, maybe 30 minutes to an hour that you spend. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you want more support in developing your roadmap and executing on your master plan that you make for yourself, uh, join me in my exclusive Facebook group for researchers, grads, even professors, and we can be in direct touch in the DMs there. See you soon.